The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. E it's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we're warming up our mixes with the most dynamic tube in the game. I'm talking about the Ableton stock plugin Dynamic Tube. To best demonstrate what this plugin does, I'm going to drop it down here before my master chain. I pulled down the warm control here on the master sauce because this is really what we're going to be doing out here. Let's start out by playing the example without the dynamic tube on so you know what the dry signal sounds like. And now let's enable dynamic tube. To best understand what dynamic tube is doing, this bias control really helps us understand why this is not just called tube distortion and this is dynamic tube. Because when you turn this all the way up, you can hear what it's most sensitive to. And you also have three different distortion types, which are knee shapes, and knee affects how a plugin acts as the volume approaches the threshold. So this A setting is not gonna to apply too much distortion, but once it passes a certain volume, it'll apply a lot of distortion. B has a slightly smoother transition, and C would effectively be distorted all the time. Let's turn this bias up and just check out what they all sound like. Not just the drums now, it's more of uh, instruments too. And now you just hear everything all the time. Whereas A is really just isolating the peaks. As you can see, this really has a special way of overdriving. I'm obviously using this at really extreme settings for the purpose of demonstration, but this envelope control basically will give you a varying amount of bias. So if you're trying to get rid of those big spikes in your distorted signal and just distort the quieter parts, you can use this envelope to do that or do the opposite. Are your plucks popping? Have you spent countless hours programming your plucks with no results? Introducing Poppin' Plucks Volume 1, the complete collection of serum presets that will get your plucks so popping, your song just might pop off. Poppin' Plucks is available now only at holoops.com. We can also dial it back by using the wet dry knob here. But my favorite way to use dynamic tube on the master channel is as a parallel process. So I'm gonna leave it on 100%, hit Command G. There we go. And now we can control how much tube we hear with the output knob on the plugin. Now that we're doing this in parallel, I can mute the dry signal and we could just take a listen to what we're affecting here with this tone control. When it's pushed to the left, it seems to be focusing all the distortion in the low end and pushed to the right seems to be adding a lot of harmonics to the high end. I'm gonna keep this in the center. Let's put our dry signal back in. See, with our bias turned all the way up and our distortion setting on A, we're just getting the kicks and snares 
to boost up here in parallel and then the rest of the sounds are not getting distorted so much and that's why this is dynamic tube like I said and not just tube distortion because of the ability to selectively distort things based off of how loud they are or are not. Check it out without it. And back on. Dynamic Tube has this option here in the right click menu called High Quality and in some circumstances it makes it better. In other circumstances I find it makes it too bright but it's always a little bonus something to try in the mix. Well, there you have it. That is my tutorial on the most dynamic tube in the game. If you'd like to check out the rest of my Ableton stock plugin tutorials, feel free to click on any of the links in the description of these videos. And I'll catch you guys next time with another tutorial. Peace out.